So, uh, hi, I'm Derek from 12 Rivers Internal Arts. Um, I teach Chinese martial arts as a form of classical education. Uh, in particular, I teach the arts of Xingyi Luha Chan, Tai Chi Chan, and Bagua Zhang. Um, I teach a lot of Neigong and internal practices, as well as Jin Chin Jitsu and Meridian and Mudra healing. Um, the reason is, all these are technologies for changing you. It's all about the body development. So, Tai Chi as a martial art, Xingyi, Bagua, they're co a collection of training methods that are designed to help you transform your body in a very particular way. And what I mean by that is, the internal arts are on a different paradigm. And I'm not saying this is better or it'll make you invincible, I'm just saying it's pretty cool and it's fun and it's interesting. And the point is to be able to use your densest tissue, the bones in your body, to generate power. So if he reaches out to grab me, as soon as his force, because there's force coming out of his body, and I connect it into my body, it goes back to him, okay? So the whole thing is predicated on an outreach or an input of energy. If he reaches his hand out and there's no power in it, there's nothing to happen, see? But if he wants to get me, his arm won't be like that. He's gonna have force in it. So this is how it works. It's not a, okay, this kind of thing, and there's nothing wrong with that. That's can get great skills through all these things. My point is that Chinese Gong Fu is self-defense. If he reaches to grab me or to do anything, as soon as he touches me, I use the force that he's using against me back at him. This is what it is to redirect force. If he punches at me, I use my structure to unbalance his structure. If his punch is hard, which usually it will be, because what's the point of throwing it? It gives me, he punches again, gives me structure. I, t I can use that. So. If we meet and the punch isn't hard, I just collapse it and I hit. So we develop structure in a very specific way for very clear reasons, and it's done cooperatively. So like push hands, and this isn't push hands, but this is just a game, right? Here's an idea. I'm compressing his structure, helping him develop it, and then he releases off. So the point is this, that he's unifying his whole body to connect, and then every time, and I'll, I'll, I'll push him, and the reason this is so useful is that when I do this, his whole body is contracted, it's all connected. Now when I push through and release him, it all releases. So the tissues get changed because they get exercised. So everything we do, whether it's the solo form or we're doing our push hands, we're doing it the same way. I don't do my form and then, you know, I'm not even really doing my form, I'm just showing the quality of movement here, right? I don't move like this throughout my form and then come to push hands and start wrestling. The point is every time, my hands are always of that same quality where they're sensing, they're listening, they're feeling, and I'm, oh, I'm sorry, and I'm, is that that button, huh? and I'm looking to get his whole body mass. Every time I touch him, if there's force coming out, I can seize his whole body. If there isn't, it's different. This is why if you do this and somebody's a good wrestler, as soon as you grab them, they're gonna not, they're gonna go empty. So it doesn't just correlate that way. So why train it then? You train it because it makes you powerful. Internal power is about not using momentum. If I put my hand on him, what does it feel like? It feels like it went through. Yeah, it's, it's, this is the point, is that I don't have to do this to hit him. If we engage, I come through and when I get there, my force is there because it's compressing through my body. There's all different levels of power and density development that are available. So the better you get at it, the less you need and the more power gets released. So it's a method that builds and develops. And the point is in training it correctly to bring about the physiological change in the body to develop the power. When you fight, you do whatever you want, right? I, I mean, if you're stepping correctly and your practice is correct, you're gonna be able to do all kinds of hard kicks and all this stuff because your body's open, it's strong. I can box, I can do all this stuff. It's, it's not what I focus on and I have great respect for it, but my point is that the, the training should make you strong and athletic and comfortable in your body so that when you move, you have, you have power and agility without being bound up. Um, this is the water quality that we're looking for. So we train to develop the skills through a coherent method to change the body. And when the body changes, the skills are there. I don't have to try to do this. As soon as I touch him, it's easy for me to control him. 
Now again, he's giving something to me. In other words, if his arm is just there in space and I push it, nothing happens. But as soon as his intention is to reach for me, I've got him, right? And if he's too strong, if his force is too strong, I don't sit here and fight it, I pull it through. So learning to have this discernment and to stand in your own space. So if, he, if he's grabbing me or trying to push me, I can keep my ground and be strong and be relaxed and be present and thereby be appropriate. So this is what we work on. Pursuing harmony in our own physical body through releasing the tension that pulls us out of alignment and harmony and then learning to work with that with other people and in life in general. So, cheers.